Whenever I stay in a hotel room or when I'm staying in a room that's new to me, one of the first things I will do is go to the window and open the blinds, open the curtains so to let light in. I also like to see if I'm in a hotel where I am on the street. But I really need the natural light in my life. And a lot of us are like that where we really like natural light in our homes. Throughout the day, we really appreciate a sunny day because of how much light there is. And no matter where we are in that spectrum of appreciating that light, it's true that we are children of light. That's what St. Paul tells the Thessalonians today, that you do not belong to darkness or night because you are children of light and of the day. And he tells them that because he is trying to continue to encourage them to live in a moral way and to realize that they bear God's image within them, that the only thing that will satisfy them truly is living in the light of God. So too, for us, we are called always to live in light. In light, not just in a physical light, but really in the light of Jesus. To not allow any darkness to, to uh, upset that light within us. We know that sin and any transgression against God brings darkness. But that does not define us because we are children of light. At our baptism, there is, if we were baptized as an infant, there's a moment where our godparent will light our baptismal candle from the Easter candle. And the words are, receive the light of Christ. And we are called to keep that light burning brightly, to walk always as children of the light. That's what our call is, to always live in the light of God. And when we feel there is great darkness in our lives, when we feel that there is something that cannot be overcome, we go to Jesus because he is light itself. And he will always cast out darkness. We see that too in the gospel today, how he comes into a synagogue and there is a man possessed by an evil spirit and he can't help but cry out because he can't stay in the same place as the true light, Jesus himself. And so he is cast out of that person cast out into the darkness. So today, friends, let's ask the Lord to help us to live into who we are, to be children of light always, that we might spread that light and give that light to a world so in need of illumination.